All right, so here we are. This is unit one. Okay, right off the bat, uh, you can see that the floor is not very level, uh, but it's gonna just, it'll be fine. It is what it is. Uh, you can see it rubs here. So we're gonna either shave the bottom of the door off or when we remove the laminate and replace it with vinyl, maybe, maybe that will do the trick and it will stop rubbing because that'll get us the extra quarter inch that we need for the door to swing properly. And we'll need a door stop there, obviously. Um, now it goes without saying the entire place needs just, you know, random skim coats of mud. But where, where I'd like to really see some drastic drywall improvements is I'd like corner bead, fresh corner bead on all these corners um, and fresh mud, it's just modernizing it. And then do what you can with these curves, okay? Uh, ideally, we could get rid of the curves, but if not, then just clean them up better. But you can see we're in desperate need of corner beating on these. Um, you can see the wall, all right? There's just an example of what I'm talking about. More of the corner beating there and skim coating that's required. Um, the trim is actually not bad, except that it's Looks like it's been painted over so many times with uh, paint when it's never actually been cleaned. And so there's just these chunks and blobs everywhere. So ideally what I'd like to, like if we can keep the trim, fine. But if there's some way to scrape the, the lumpy crud off the tops of the baseboards so that when we re it and paint it, it'll look clean and, and normal again, that would be ideal. And then when we install the new laminate, we will put in a new quarter round all the way around. Now, <clears throat> as far as the vinyl goes, uh, I was thinking we can take the vinyl and we'll just do this little piece right here. Okay, so this little entrance way. And then we'll do the vinyl in this bathroom. The bathroom's a really long, sort of interesting run. So we'd have to have a seam somewhere in there because of the length of it. But um, we're trying to do this on a budget. So obviously a transition strip there. We're gonna replace this laminate with new laminate, okay? Just so you're aware. Uh, we're gonna try to keep the existing doors and the door trims. If we can clean it up by also putting in new hinges and knobs everywhere would be ideal. And the electricians as a separate issue will take care of new decor receptacles and switches and face plates. And by the way, the latches all need to be a part of that as well. <clears throat> when you come in here, I'd like to right off the bat get rid of this chair rail, skim coat, whatever uh, evidence there is that there was one there, and just touch up any ugly marks on the walls. Um, everywhere in this whole apartment, by the way, there's these drop ceilings. We're going to get rid of them, and we're going to have exposed metal conduits leading to the nicer light fixtures that we're going to put in. It'll look really cool and industrial because the ceiling goes up like another two or three feet. It's like nine or ten foot ceilings. It's going to look incredibly cool. Uh, when you come in here, I, I kind of like this idea of having a little storage space in the washroom. It's kind of neat. But I'd want it to look better, you know. Probably just, instead of all this clutter and crap, probably just a shelf with some a pretty looking decorative hooks underneath of it instead of, you know, this kind of stuff going on here and that gone, you know. Uh, we don't really need a plug there, but whatever, we'll replace it with a more new one in case, who knows, maybe someone wants to put their ironing table here. It would actually be pretty convenient, right? Um, coming into here, uh, I'd like to just keep the tubs around and the tub if we can, uh, and the mixing valve and the shower head and all that seems fine. We could just get a new shower curtain rod and then put some new vinyl trim on here to get rid of this yellow uh, smoke stained or just age stained caulking and then some nice white vinyl trim running along the top all the way around and down this side too so that it's clean and looks fresh all right I think that would be ideal um, now you can see how high that ceiling goes eh? and it's clean too we're gonna need a few little patches here and there but for the most part it's clean plaster or drywall so it's sweet so we're gonna get rid of all the drop ceilings entirely there's the vent. We may need to make a little box for that little vent to mount on. Okay, so we'll just see what what, what it needs when we get there. Um, but at least it has one. I want this mirror gone. I want this thing gone. And I'd like it to be moved, you know, maybe to a normal location like down here. 
or something like that. Uh, we're obviously going to need some new blinds in all of the windows. We're going to need new blinds. All the trim, the walls, obviously the doors and baseboards all have to be painted. That goes without saying. I want a much nicer, much sexier light fixture there. Same goes for that one. And then a, a, a prettier looking uh, mirror. This vanity is fine. It's actually not in bad shape. So I'd like to keep the vanity just by one, two, three, four, five, six new handles that are nice and chrome and modern looking. We'll have Joseph put in some nice countertop on here uh, with a nice fresh white sink and uh, a newer faucet. Okay, because this thing's pretty loose and junky. Uh, same thing with this. This is ugly. I do kind of like the idea of having a hand towel rack on this wall that we could hang a little towel on, but not this one and certainly not that. And these will be replaced as well with white product so it looks fresh and new. And then I think that'll make this bathroom look a thousand times better. Now coming into here, same thing. As I said, ceiling tiles gone. You know, we're going to probably have like a dining light fixture kind of here. Um, with a track light on that one. So something cool here and then a track light there. I'm not really sure yet. We'll have to see how the floor plan of the kitchen works out. Uh, but when you look at the kitchen, I've kind of moved the fridge there to show you where I want it to go. And I've moved the stove there where I want it to go. Uh, the stove used to be there and the fridge used to be there, but they were just sitting awkwardly in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I want to replace all the cabinets with the inexpensive white Rona cabinets. And I want the fridge on the left wall with a fridge upper, you know, we'll take this sink, we'll move it over a little bit, and then we'll have the uppers, yada, 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 a corner cabinet, which is kind of going to be right where that sink is right now, a corner cabinet, corner uppers. We're going to get rid of this door, the trim, drywall it all off, uh, and then the stove will go there. We'll put the upper, the vent, the upper cabinet, and we'll make some kind of a bulkhead running along on top of the cabinets, and we'll drill a hole outside for a proper vent, okay? And you'll see in a minute why I want to get rid of that door. It makes perfect sense. But then we can also, what it allows us to do is continue the countertops along to about here and then come out this way. And then we can have a really cool peninsula, which will enable the tenant to envision his or herself entertaining guests and have two or three uh, bar stools sitting there at the peninsula that's going to come out like that with the wraparound and the kitchen now has a nice flow and it makes sense. And with the track light, we'll be able to point those lights to show better showcase the new product i think it'll look killer and obviously the paint's going to be a nice warm color we've got a really sweet modern grayish beige color uh, from benjamin moore that i think will be uh, fantastic same thing in here we're not going to do a lot in here uh, other than the painting and the ceiling tile removal and all that kind of stuff we got some weird texture going on on this wall uh, i don't think it's a big deal i mean if we can get rid of it great if not whatever the soft paint will hopefully hide it but you see it everywhere it looks like it's old wallpaper or something that's been painted over years ago and and i don't think it's going to make or break this deal it's just a bedroom but here uh, we're going to need to custom order a pre-hung door to fit there unless a standard size would fit not a pre-hung i'm sorry i mean a bifold door um, but beyond that it just needs to be painted in there you've got storage and all that kind of stuff and fix that hole obviously and trim it all in well it's already trimmed but paint the trim and then the quarter round right so the insides of the closets we need a special order uh, tall blind going there okay so that's what's happening in the kitchen now you come into this room uh, I mean if we can somehow dress up this vent I don't know maybe put a new exhaust vent on here that's a nice shiny chrome so that at least if it's going to be exposed, at least it doesn't look so yucky, right? And I think that's reasonable. And we're going to cover up that hole too. It used to be a gas stove, I'm assuming. It's not anymore. Let's get rid of it. We don't need six lights like this in here. You can see there's a center. I don't know if you can see it, but there, there are electrical supply in here. Wherever the light supply is, that's where we could put the lights. There's a lot of things we can do with lighting uh, besides having this sort of you know, very industrial style layout done. These blinds uh, seem like they're okay. They're in relatively good shape. If they're cleanable, leave them. I think they're in good shape, leave them. If not, we'll rip them out if we have to and replace them, but I think they're good, so leave them. This used to be the door to the bedroom. Uh, and I wanna return it to its original state of being the door to the bedroom uh, for two reasons. A, that kitchen needs that floor plan. And B, 
uh, that doorway into the kitchen is actually where the closet used to be. And I'll go in there now and show you what that looks like. So again, this is going to be all vinyl, or sorry, laminate floor. Uh, this is going to be all laminate, laminate, laminate. The only vinyl is going to be in the bathroom and in the little front entrance way. So here's that bedroom. Let's get inside. Something weird was going on here. I don't know why there's a lock on the outside of a bedroom door, but uh, I don't know. That always that always weirds me out, but whatever. Anyways, uh, you come in here, and uh, you can see that this was the closet, right? Like you've got your closet shelves, and we can easily put a closet rod back up, and we once we board this off, this is this is your closet, right? And this is your second bedroom. And again, something weird in this bedroom. What's with the bleach all over the walls or whatever this crap is? The whole bed bedroom has been washed with some strange product. I don't understand. Whatever. Um, you know, we're going to try our best to clean up this trim, but you got to keep in mind, it's pretty old. Uh, but with a fresh coat of white paint, we're going to make it look as good as possible with some fresh caulking as well. And this will be our door. We'll have to order a custom pre-hung door for that, uh, obviously, depending on the size of the opening. Um, and then <clears throat> in here, uh, if this door works, it does work, but ew, the doorknob, it's not the greatest. And it can be sometimes really hard to find doorknobs that, that fit on these old doors. So we'll see what we can do about that door. But let's count on uh, keeping the door and finding a special doorknob. That would be the best case scenario so we don't have to spend too much money on trimming doors and door jams and everything else. Uh, <clears throat> but that's it. So keep in mind all these ceiling tiles are being ripped down and removed and any mudding uh, replacements are required. Give me a little extra electrical required uh, because these are going to have to be uh, the electrical for this is going to move from there to there uh, which we can figure that out. Um, and a fridge plug will need to be located there. We're going to need proper GFIs on the counters. We'll probably need another counter plug over here. We already have one. I don't know if that's rated properly or not. We'll see. Um, probably have to bury that one. And uh, we'll have a nice, beautiful sort of L-shaped kitchen. And uh, that's what I think we should do to this space. And if we do that, it's going to bring in absolutely premium money. And this place is going to look so cool. Uh, industrial, tall ceilings modern, clean, it's perfect.